Hey everyone, it's your girl Jen, and here I am with a new episode of Favorites. As you guys know, September is over, and I'm so gutted because my birthday month is officially gone. Now I gotta wait another year, but regardless, I'm gonna just run down the best of the best of September. And if you're new here, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. The button is down below, and now that we're done with the intro, let's get right into it. I'm gonna kick things off with a fashion favorite first. If you have seen my 24 hours in New York vlog, then you know that I did this really rushed shopping trip at Reformation. It is one of my favorite stores and I got this entirely new outfit. Uh, one of the pieces included this leather beret and I have just been obsessed. It really adds that perfect amount of edge to any look and I honestly think that this is the new IT head accessory for fall and winter. I'm just saying, I'm calling it out. I'm seeing a lot of designers put their own spin to it, like I know Dior has a beautiful other beret, but I'm just really happy with my Reformation one. For my beauty favorite, I have this lip color by Dior. It is called Rolling, and honestly, this name is so fitting for this product because it literally just rolls onto the lips. It's such a smooth, moisturizing formula, and it's in this gorgeous nude salmon shade. I use this in my sultry fall makeup look, so if you haven't seen that video, Check out the cards. I also love that this formula is super low maintenance. You don't have to worry about reapplying it over and over again. And as the day goes on, it doesn't leave that like line on your lips. I believe it's called butthole lips because like when you pucker up, it'll just have like that weird, you know, butthole effect. This product doesn't do that, which is nice. I have been a victim of butthole lips just too many times. So <laughs> I'm trying to stick with products that don't do that. All right, so let's jump into some book favorites. Here I have Death Note. This is a gift that my big brother James got me, and I am so happy he did this because this is like the first manga I've ever read in my life. Growing up, James had this huge collection of just mangas, and it was just kind of his thing. I tried to read them, but a lot of them were in Korean too. He had like this crazy Dragon Ball Z collection, and I could read Korean, but there are a lot of words that I can sound out phonetically, but I don't know what they mean. Uh, so. Anyway, this is obviously in English and I'm so happy that he's kind of like introducing me into the manga world because this was like the perfect book to start out with. So this book is about a high schooler named Light and he stumbles across this like really mysterious and magical notebook where you can kill people by writing their first last name and visualizing their face. And he is shadowed by a death god named Ryuk and Ryuk is just so cute. At first I was kind of like, ooh, he's kind of creepy. But just like seeing his mannerisms and his fascination with humans, it just, makes him really endearing. So Light's mission is just to purify the world of criminals. So he starts just like killing off criminals in the death note, but unfortunately the cops see this as like an issue because I mean murder is mur murder. Whether you're murdering a bad guy or murdering a good guy, you're still killing someone. So they're trying to find this mysterious killer and it's just really interesting. I've never read a plot line like this. Can't wait to finish the second book in volume one, and then after, I guess, I'm just gonna have to start buying the rest of the collection. I highly recommend it. If you have never read a manga, definitely a really cool storyline to get sucked into. My next book favorite is called Wild by Cheryl Strayed. This was recommended to me by my mom, and she never recommends me to read anything, so of course, when she told me to read it, I was like, okay, so I downloaded it on my Kindle, and I'm so happy that I read it. It is such an inspiring story. It is a memoir of Cheryl, and just a lot of unfortunate things happened to her, which caused her to lead kind of a reckless life, uh, but when she turns 26, she decides to just get a hold of her life, and she, decides to go on this crazy hike, the Pacific Crest Trail. And this is not like, you know, just a three mile hiking trail. This is a really intense hike, a thousand plus miles on crazy terrain. And the crazy thing of all is she does it by herself. Uh, she learns a lot about herself and it kind of inspired me to want to go backpacking as well. I've never done anything like that before and I love nature and it was really inspiring for me to read her story and see how this whole journey just kind of healed her. You want to know what she's doing next and it's just really cool to see like a woman, a strong woman do this on her own and yeah, I highly recommend it. Next up, I have my film favorite. So Ben, James and I went to the theaters and we saw the movie It. Normally, I don't watch horror films. I steer clear from them because I just have like a very active imagination. So like once I see a scary image, it's with me for life and I end up like 
they end up popping in my head at like the worst times like when I'm washing my face and closing my eyes it's just bad I remember when I was a kid when it first came out like I literally thought that it was the most terrifying thing in the world but something about the remake made me want to rewatch it I think maybe it's like the nostalgia factor also I heard it wasn't that scary and so I went into the theater and we all ended up loving it I think it's because they put in pieces of like really hilarious moments just to break apart the the horror because if it's just like a scary movie all around like it's just too much for me like you gotta give me like some sort of nugget of happiness in a film and if you can handle like stranger things you can definitely definitely watch it unless you have like a giant fear of clowns uh, so the film is about a story of seven children living in this town and every 27 years this clown named Pennywise comes out and tries to kill as many kids as he can and the crazy thing is even though he's like really scary he also has the ability to transform into your deepest darkest fear so yeah it's still out in theaters right now I highly recommend you go watch it if you just want like a really fun blockbuster hit my last favorite is a podcast. It is called Optimal Living Daily, and this was recommended by my friend Amy, aka Vagabond Youth. I honestly get so many recommendations from her because she is like a little pot of knowledge. I believe in my, my last favorites video, I talked about a book that she recommended. Um, so yeah, if you're not subscribed to her channel, please do. I'll link her in the description box. Check her out. I have been obsessed with this podcast. I have been listening to it every morning as I get ready. It's just really nice to listen to because every day he uploads. The narrator, Justin Mollick, he picks out articles and blog posts about self-development and personal growth, which is nice. A lot of the articles are around like eight to 12 minutes. So they're just like bite-sized pieces of information. Um, and if they're too long, he'll put it into two parts. But a lot of subjects he picks are about minimalism. There's one about time management. The information that he gives out is just really useful things that you can incorporate into your daily life. So yeah, if you are looking for a new podcast to check out, definitely listen to Optimal Living Daily. All right guys, that wraps up this episode of Favorites. Before I left, I wanted to do a couple of announcements. Number one, a lot of things are back in stock at the Eggy Shop. Uh, first, we've got the Fuzzy Baby Tee. They are in all the sizes, uh, the oversized hoodie, and also the oversized long sleeve. So now's your chance to cop. Uh, number two, I wanted to talk about the international shipping. I am so sorry that it is more expensive than I would prefer or you guys would prefer. Um, trust me, I am working, I'm working my hardest to try and decrease that, that cost. If there was a way where we could have just like a flat rate international shipping rate, you guys know I would do it. Uh, but for now, this is the best that we can do. Number three, you guys know how much I love captions. Every video or the majority of my videos, I get English subtitles because it's just nice. Like any show I watch, I, like, I just throw the subtitles on because I want to know exactly what they're saying. Uh, but I recently just discovered that you can turn on like the community captions. So like now you guys can help translate my videos. It would be my dream to have my videos in all different languages from Korean, German, Spanish. It would just make me so happy. So if you guys speak another language and you wanna help your girl out, please help transcribe my videos. It would mean the world to me. Uh, I've already put a list of like the top five videos that I need help transcribing and captioning in the description box. So please check it out. As usual, write down your favorites in the comments down below. I love hearing from you guys and it's just nice to get like a big source of information and inspiration down there. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Mwah. Uh.